Cezanne, you know, if there is one benchmark for the style, it's Cezanne Dumont. Um, you're talking uh, kind of golden, orange, hue, beer, um, very simple recipe. Pilsner malt is what they claim to use. Um, one yeast, but there's been uh, some speculation that there's a multiple strain uh, of yeast that they use. Um, so that's kind of considered the benchmark for the style. Uh, we kind of are along those same lines. Uh, kind of light uh, orange hue to the beer. Uh, if you smell it, uh, our aroma, we're, we're shooting for the esters. Uh, so you get that little bit of that fruitiness. Uh, I'm also kind of playing with the hops on that one too. I like uh, to use uh, a hop called opal. It's a little bit citrusy for German hop, but um, I think it blends well with that yeast. And it, it's almost an aroma that you, you're not sure if it's coming directly from the yeast or, or some of that dry hopping. Um, so that's the kind of balance we're, we're getting on that aroma. Uh, a little spicy, almost like a gingery kind of spiciness. Flavor, uh, again, spicy, uh, kind of fruity. Uh, very dry in the finish. Saisons, uh, you really want that dryness. Uh, you want 90% attenuation, apparent attenuation. Uh, so that's what we kind of shoot for with that yeast. Uh, very dry. Uh, a little bit uh, bitter in, in the flavor. Uh, kind of what we're going for on that. We're, we don't put any spices in that. Um, so I want a little bit of that coffee bitterness uh, when I come through in the finish. Uh, Carbonation, we shoot for the high side. I think we're up around um, 3, 3.2 volumes uh, going into the bottom. So. The beer has uh, three malts, one hop, one yeast. Uh, very simple recipe. Uh, and our idea was to really let the, the yeast shine through in that. So a lot of things we do in the process um, gets the most ester in that. Initially, we wanted to do Belgian styles. Um, that was the initial concept. Um, I won a uh, gold medal at national brew competition. Saison, uh, so I knew that style really well. Um, and eventually, we decided that as a brewery, we need to kind of specialize and, and kind of make a name for our, ourselves in a certain area. So it was just natural for that uh, style of beer for us. Um, the recipe itself. Um, it's not anything I've done, I've done as a home brewer. We basically want to pare down Saison to just the bare essential ingredients. Um, you know, when we were thinking about doing it, it was kind of one of the styles that was on the fringe. Um, I think the creativity with Saison, so a lot of styles are pretty well defined. There's, there's some narrow guidelines. But with Saison, you're really wide open to do a lot of different things. Um, it can be hoppy, it can be spicy. Dark light, you know, you name it. Wild yeast, um, everything's game. So I think it really inspires people to kind of take the ball and run with it and try and do something unique. Uh, we've done some bread beers with, with you know, loosely says on. I don't know. I like to kind of push the boundaries uh, a little bit sometimes. Uh, you know, it, it's a fine line. Sometimes we'll call it a Belgian ale if it's kind of outside this, the traditional saison. Or too far. Um, but yeah, we've, we've done spices, um, messed around with these, quality. 